everybody. If you know me and my type of art, uh, you are familiar with the fact that I do a lot of wildlife and especially this time of the year, I do a lot of pet portraits. Well, in today's video, I get to combine both elements. Hmm, what does that mean? <laughs> well, I'm doing a species of animal which I've never painted before and he happens to be a pet and his name is Wally and Wally is a wallaby and Wally the wallaby wears bow ties. Try to say that five times real fast. <laughs> Wally the wallaby wears bow ties. But anyhow, I'm gonna get to paint Wally the wallaby. He's my very, very first uh, wallaby that I've ever painted. So this should be fun. And not only do I get to paint a wallaby, I get to paint one sitting in a leather chair wearing a bow tie. So, and I believe um, I was told that Wally uh, is actually a junior partner in a law firm. Yeah, true, true story. So yeah, I am going to paint Wally and I'm gonna take you on that ride. So if you are my subscribers, thanks so much. If you're not, go ahead and hit the owl and make it official. And we'll go ahead and, and be cool with that. And uh, yeah, and again, remember too, to give me some thumbs up if you like today's video and uh, leave any comments that you come up with uh, in the comment section and I'll get to it, okay? So let's jump into Mr. Wally. <laughs> This is gonna be fun. Okay, first what I'm doing is just doing a little vine charcoal sketch and then going over uh, the charcoal, really basically just to set it in uh, with acrylic paint. And it's not really a value study. I'm just really trying to, to make sure that I don't wash over my lines that the charcoal um, laid in. Here we go. We've got um, a very loose acrylic underpainting just to kind of get a feel for where Mr. Wally is sitting on his chair because he's a very important wallaby, as you can see here in my photo reference. So I just, it, I'm sorry, folks, this cracks me up. This is, this is my very first wallaby. And the fact that it's someone's pet just I don't know, that just cracks me up. But anyway, here is the paint that we will be using. Here's our palette today. Now I have this kind of divided up to, again, in whatever I'm working on area. For example, I have up here, I have an array of what I'm considering chair colors. I have Van Dyke Brown down here, Alizarin Crimson, Cobalt Red, which is running into my Alizarin Crimson. I have um, Caput Mortem, I have brown matter. I have Michael Harding's ivory black, okay? Now for cool colors, I mean, I obviously I have a lot of cool colors here, especially in this array, but I have my ultramarine blue and diazonine purple. Uh, since the wallaby is basically kind of tones of yellow, of course you've gotta have your purple down. I've got titanium white. And then over here, you can see kind of my wallaby colors. I have warm gray, yellow gray, uh, violet gray, and blue gray, all of the um, 12 shades of gray that I love, love, love. I have raw umber and I have yellow ochre. And that is what I'm starting with to do this particular painting. So again, here is our reference that we'll be working from. And this is where we're going to start. So ready, set, go. Okay, now obviously this looks a little blurry, yeah? Uh, I find it really um, beneficial to make sure I'm squinting when I am first starting a piece because it, 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 I don't get lost in all the detail. It makes putting down the initial stage of the painting much more effective. I don't get distracted. So now I kind of set in the tie and I'm just, you know, basically blocking it in. That's all I'm doing right now. No detail yet, just laying down some color.
Did you folks listen to this music in the background and happen to catch the didgeridoo? <laughs> yeah, I, I wanted to pick this music uh, to honor Mr. Wally and his original homeland of Australia. Now, I'm putting in the tufts in this uh, chair and having a blast with it. For some reason, I don't know what it was, but these this chair tufts were fun. I loved getting the shine in. So, it's the first snow uh, here in Kingsport, Tennessee, and uh, yeah, I'm like a kid. I get excited, so obviously I'm easy to, easily distracted, but yeah, I just keep watching it flurry, and it's kind of exciting, so eh, back to the painting. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of setting in Wally's bow tie. It was very important that he be wearing a bow tie in this picture. So, yeah, and, and it was a very specific bow tie as well. So we've got to get the detail of that in.
we are done. And here we have Mr. Wally sitting in his chair with his little bow tie, just as cute as can be. You know, this was a different kind of piece for me, but it was fun. You know, I have to say this was my first little wallaby to do. And here you can see the reference that I worked from mainly, of course, minus the bow tie and his little very official chair in probably his own office. But here we go. I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out and I hope you liked uh, watching the video. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any questions whatsoever about anything pertaining to uh, Mr. Wally's painting and portrait, please feel free to you know, leave it in the comment section and I'll get to you on this. Yeah, this was a fun little piece. This was fun. And he is done. So what'd you think of that? Right? A wallaby. And it was fun. I uh, really enjoyed, you know, even doing the things like the tufts in the leather chair. I know that sounds really weird because it had nothing to do with the animal itself, but I enjoyed the weird little tiny details that went into Wally's portrait. Um, the bow tie, that was a challenge because the, the photos that I had to work from that had Wally in his bow tie was not the actual photo reference that I was using. Uh, so I, you know, I, I'm going to go ahead and share a little bit of how I had to combine, you know, as you can see from these pictures, you know, here we have Wally with his bow tie on, and then this was the actual photo reference that I worked from. So I had to kind of combine those two elements to create Wally in his leather chair in his bow tie. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe. And also consider my Patreon uh, channel. If you like to see more in-depth videos, I'm not going to have this particular one on Patreon, but I've got a lot of other cool ones for you to enjoy on that, on that channel. And it'll also include the occasional live demo where you get to ask me questions uh, through Zoom and we get to talk and paint and have fun. So yeah, thanks for joining me today. And, uh, and I hope you'll stick around and come see me the next time I'm painting. And I hope I'm painting something as interesting as a wallaby, but either way, it'll be fun, right? Okay, thanks so much. And from Kingsport, Tennessee, I'll see ya. Bye.